In this 3D printing tech support video, I will be discussing a common problem called over extrusion and how you can calibrate a proper multiplier for the filament being pushed out of your hot end. So lately for a completely unrelated project, I've been 3D printing these mini storage bins downloaded from Thingiverse creator panel app on the Modex printer. The main reason is because I'm a huge fan of organization, okay? This is who he is. This is how he defines himself as a person. In printing on the Modex, there was an important calibration I needed to do so that I could prevent over extrusion on my parts. Now, over extrusion is a visible effect you can see on your parts where too much material is being extruded, causing blobs more material deposited on a layer. Some quick solutions would be to check the health of your nozzle. So brass nozzles are softer metals and wear down quicker with more abrasive materials. So you might need to check over time if your nozzle needs to be replaced. Also check the diameter of your filament physically matches that value in your slicer. The most common size is 1.75 millimeters. The temperature could also be too hot when printing and you might need to lower this temperature. I would do it in 5 degree increments until you can find the right value for printing your material. Finally, and this is what we will explore in this video in more detail, is lowering your extrusion multiplier in your slicer. So Cura calls this multiplier the flow rate and the default value is a hundred percent. So how do we go about figuring out the right value for your material? Well it starts with a 30 by 30 by 30 millimeter test cube. Go ahead now and make a SDL file in your favorite CAD designer software. Have you got it? Good. Now that you have your test cube, we will need to load it into Cura and do some adjustments in the settings. In Cura, we now need to adjust the print settings. Change the infill density to 0%. Then turn off the top and bottom layers by setting this value to 0. Set the wall thickness to your nozzle diameter. Set the amount of walls to one line, i.e. adjust your wall line count to one. Set the flow rate to 100% the default value. Now that you've changed the settings in Cura, you are ready to print your test cube. But here's the fun part. With your test print now completed, use your trusty calibers to measure the wall thickness of each side of your print. You're going to measure the wall thickness of each side and record the value and then take the average of all four measurements. If we are using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, we should be getting close to a wall thickness of 0.4 millimeters for our part. So in my example, I got a measured thickness of 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.56, and 0 0.48 with an average of 0 0.51. The equation we're going to use to calculate the new extruder multiplier is the thickness value entered in our slicer divided by the recorded thickness value times the extrusion multiplier. So when I plug in my values I got into the equation, I will have 0.4 millimeters divided by 0.51 millimeters times a multiplier of 1. This yields a new extruder multiplier of 0.78. So with this new value we just calculated, we begin this entire process all over again. 
will change the default value we had in Cura for the material flow from 1 to our new calculated value of 0 0.78. Then we slice the model again and we run it on our printer. We'll take our calibers one more time and we'll take a measurement at each of the four sides. We'll measure the wall thickness this time again and we'll see I'm now a lot closer to the 0.4 millimeters we were looking for. Hopefully this will prevent any over extrusion that might show up in your parts and provide a better explanation on the flow multiplier setting in Cura. So I've got a few more of these uh, storage bins to print, you know. Thank you all for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss a new video that I post. I hope you took something away from this video and leave a like and a comment below. Check out my links that are listed in the description. I hope your 3D printing turns out awesome and I'll see you all in the next video.